the boom and the resurgence in the Irish whiskey industry in the last few years has been absolutely fantastic to see. And one of the integral players in that is the Hinch Distillery, which is just like 20 miles down the road from me. And that's great to see. And today I am bringing you the second in their time collection range. It's the Hinch five-year-old double wood. So stay tuned to hear all about it and see what I think about it. What about you whiskey lovers? I'm Big Al and welcome to Whiskey Street, where you can join me in my spiritual odyssey through the wonderful world of whiskey. So please jump on the board. It'd be great to have you here so we can share our experiences together. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notification so you can stay up to date with all future content. Now, as I said, the Hinch Distillery is pretty close to me. I had the privilege of seeing around it when it was still in the construction process just before the lockdown last year. And thankfully, it has been all finished now and hopefully everything will be up and running fairly soon so people can get down and see just what a magnificent place it has turned out to be. And also, I have to say, the people down there, all involved in it, are wonderful people. And I wish them all the best in the future. And they've only just started now distilling their own stuff. And I predict great things to come. But let's get right on into this five-year-old double wood whiskey and see what it's all about. Well, it's actually a blend of malt and grain whiskies which have been matured in axe bourbon casks and then for a minimum of one year in American virgin oak barrels, hence the double wood. Now, it's triple distilled, was bottled at 43% ABV, as are all the time collection expressions from the Hinch and it retails at around 35 quid and it's widely available. So let's get right on into it. If you happen to have a pour of this, please put it in your glenn cairn. Have a wee drink along with me because whiskey is always better when it's shared. If not, put a wee pour of what your favourite tipple is or whatever you've got to hand. And we'll share a wee drink together. So let's get right on with the nosing. Just launch up right off what hits you almost immediately even before you get right down to the glass it's lemon very fresh lemon vibrant hits you right off and then comes vanilla right behind it it really is very fresh crisp and pleasant there's also some floral notes coming in there as well and as I've already said, it's fresh, it's sweet. But while it's sweet, it's not too sweet. It's it's just about right. I think I'm also getting a wee bit of a mix of orange and pear in there. Something that I hadn't got before when I was doing my notes. And it's it's really nice and fresh and mellow. And perhaps even once you get right into it, a wee sprinkling, just a sprinkling, mind you, of white pepper. All in all, a very pleasant, fresh, good nose. So let's get into the palate and see if it offers just that wee bit more. Well, whoa, if there was lemon, up front on the nosing, it's really much more apparent here on the taste. And what goes well with that too is that white peppery note that came in right in the end of the nosing, it's here on the start, along with that lemon freshness. And it's like lemon juice, not lemon peel. It comes right in and it gives it a nice wee bite, a nice wee pick me up sort of a feel. And it blends really well together with that lemon and then a nice wee malty 
flavor comes into play. Also malty on the mouth feel. And creamy as well. A nice, how could I put it? It's almost like a milk chocolatey feel, but a white milk chocolatey feel. Melted white milk chocolate. Really nice first sip. Now in the second sip, the spice, that white pepperiness is still there, but it's more subtle. It's much more balanced. It's not just as vibrant as it was in the first sip, but that lemon influence is just, it's so vibrant. It's really there. It's fruity. It's, it's full of flavor. There's a wee bit of vanilla with it as well. And now it becomes a wee bit more from the lemon juice to lemon peel. Wee bit of vanilla again. And now, as it transitions from the mid palate to the rear of the palate, here comes some milk chocolate. Not like in the first sip where it's white. This is like the powder used in the Cadbury's drinking chocolate. You know, where you're added to milk and you put a couple of spoonfuls in and it's just like that but it's not like you're putting a couple of spoonfuls in it's just like a wee sprinkling over the top really nice little flavour almost like that little chocolate sprinkle that you get on top of a mug of coffee or a cappuccino or something like that really really nice and I tell you what I've had a bottle of this before and This time, it's really growing on me much more than it did the first time. The mouthfeel in this is really pretty pleasant. It's creamy. It doesn't so much as coat the palate. It mostly stays right up along the tongue, around the outside of the palate, not so much. There's a wee bit of sharpness there, and that comes from that white peppery influence. The finish is medium, but the flavours there remain lovely, lovely lemon flavour, vanilla as well, and then that sprinkling of drinking chocolate comes into play right on the back of the palate. You know what? This is a really nice whiskey and one that would encourage you to try if you haven't already done it. So in terms of the score, this has really grown in me to the extent that I'm going to upscore it from what I had planned to and uh, that's going to be an 85.5 from me. As usual, all the links down below uh, are there. They don't have a website yet. But they're working on it and the new one's coming soon but they're on facebook and they're on all the other social media platforms so check them out if you've had this before please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below it's always good to engage with you guys and thanks once again for your support i really appreciate it a special thank you to my patrons you guys are just brilliant and i thank you so much for your support and until next time, folks, look after yourselves, keep safe, look after each other, and keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it. Sláinte. Thanks for watching, folks. I really do appreciate it. Please check out these other reviews, and if you'd like to support the channel, the best way is by subscribing, liking, and commenting. And don't forget to ring that bell for all video notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Cheers.